Well, good morning. It's just gone 3.30 a.m. and I'm heading to the airport. Today, we're heading over to Western Australia. So, we've got about an hour and a half to get to the airport. So, let's get going. Righto, so I had a pretty good run up here, it took about just over an hour and a half. So today we're flying out of Tamworth Airport down to Sydney and we connect from Sydney through to Western Australia to Perth. Um, yeah, left, my, left myself plenty of time um, traveling around these parts at night. You're always up against things like kangaroos and all that sort of caper. But anyway, look, we'll go in here now. We'll check into uh, this flight and um, hopefully I can get a window seat. Um, do a bit of filming, taking off and landing, but we'll just see how we go at check in. I've been assigned an, an aisle seat, but with these little Qantas Link Dash 8 propeller planes, um, you don't actually get to choose a seat, it's just assigned. So we'll see how we go, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. Morning, how you going? Uh, Kleem, K L I E M, that's me. No. No, no worries. Any opportunity to get a window seat this morning? That'd be great. Oh, you're a legend. Um, no, I've got all my batteries and stuff in my backpack. Thank you, have a nice day, bye. Righto, so good news, managed to get changed to a window seat, which is great. Uh, so now we just sit back, relax, and, oh, lights are going out, and, uh, and wait. Hello everyone, Qantas flight 20012 Sydney is now boarding through gate one. Please stay within the designated walkway areas and use the handrails as you'll be boarding via the ramp. As always, the use of electronic devices as well as smoking, vaping and e-cigarettes is not permitted on the tarmac. Please have your boarding pass ready to scan as you pass through the gate. Thank you.
Righto, well, here we are in Sydney. We've got about 50 minutes until the next flight, so it's going to go for a wander, see if I can find where we're actually heading. Uh, gate 11, I think it's probably right at the other end of the terminal. They seem to put the little Qantas Link planes right down the other end, so we'll head up here, we'll find gate 11. Might find something to eat as well, I think. Signed for landing into Perth. All passengers and crew must now be seated with your seatbelts firmly fastened. down here in Perth. So we'll go and find Luke and we'll uh, see what he's got to show us. Righty guys, well, I finally found Luke. Yes, I've sir. actually found him at MoMaster. So today Luke's been kind enough to arrange for me to have a little bit of a look through the process involved at MoMaster. So uh, we're going to go inside in a minute and meet another Luke. And Luke's the owner here at MoMaster. He's going to show us through a few different models. Um, have a little bit of a look around at some of the um, the processes that happen here. Yep. And there's a few little cool bits inside to have a Quite look a at. Few. Let's go. I find them cool. You find them cool? I I'm find excited. them cool. Hopefully you guys find them cool as well. Let's go. Right, so, guys, well, we've come in now and Luke's here. Luke, first of all, thank you very much for having us come today and have a little look through. No worries, mate. Thanks and for coming out. That's all right. That's not a problem at all. And this is Dave. Dave, Brenton, how are you, mate? Nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, Brenton. Yep. Um, so, mate, look, I've been doing greenkeeping and stuff for a long time now although I'm not currently in the industry. And I've only really recently been aware of MoMaster. So when I got the opportunity to come here today, I jumped on it. So I thought, if you could just take us around, show us like the range, because obviously Australian built, Australian manufactured locally here, yeah. in Perth, Western Australia. Um, yeah, mate, look, take us through. What have, what have you got? Yeah, for sure. So yeah, thanks again for coming down. That's and all right. Welcome yeah, no to worries. our workshop. Yeah, no, it's been great. <laughs> um, yeah, so. We've been making cylinder mowers and other commercial turf equipment for about 75 years. Wow. So you're not um, new? All, yeah, no, not new. Uh, all based in Perth. Yep. Um, so we can run through a few models and stuff yep. we make. So you, I see now you've also ventured down the road of battery stuff? Yeah, yeah. So this is our new uh, electric powered Honda machine. Yep. Uh, in our commercial high cut series mower. Yep. Um, also available in our cricket pitch mowers and tennis court mowers and birdie cutters, our full range pretty much. So you've got a big range. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've got about 30 different products. Yeah, right. And if someone really wanted something custom within reason, you'd consider yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, we used to probably yeah. handle the custom stuff a bit easier several yep. years ago. Now it's a bit difficult for the time slot, aren't yep. it? Yep. But we do do it. Yeah. See, so yeah. that's something that you won't get from an imported product. No. Yep. And you're supporting Australia, and if something happens, you're there on the phone. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the one off build used to be very, very big for us yep. all the time, but like, you know, just just time at the moment. Yep. Because the orders don't stop coming, so. Yeah, nice, nice. Well, take us through, mate. Show us like, yeah. what's happening. So, um, yeah, this is 
very excited about this machine. Yeah. Um, we've been waiting a long time for this electric Honda EGX series. One thing I have um, noticed is you run Honda engines, which is great. I'm yeah, a big fan of Honda products. Yeah, big fan of Honda uh, products. So this is their new battery. Yeah, yep, brand new Honda stuff too. Sweet. Uh, only available at the moment in our commercial range. Yep. Uh, which we've got several models in. Yep. Um, but it's just been working amazing. Yeah, nice. And, and I see there's a lot of meat also on this reel too. This is a really thick, nice, heavy reel. Yep. So yeah, this is our basically our number one machine we make for commercial contractors. Yeah, nice. Um, so yep. Yeah, all six blade reel. Yep. Um, with our open style, it's our custom disc roller on most of our machines. Yep. Um, I mean, little stuff like variable height adjustment. That's just wind up or down to change the height. Yep. Cut. So no tools needed. No. Yep. No tools. Uh, the electric's got the same transmission, well, similar transmission and drive as our normal petrol type. Yep. Um, very simple to operate. So it's got our power on. Three speed. Nice. And that's just your self drive. Oh, wow. How good is that? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Batteries, very easy to change over if required, so yep. no need to charge it on the machine. Yep, so just take away, yep. pop on a charger, happy days. Yep. So yeah, yeah very nice. happy with how they've come out. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so they're yeah. only sort of fairly new to, if only Yeah, fairly pretty recently. much this year. We've been yeah, testing right. them for the past two years. Yep. On um, various different surfaces and yeah, very happy with the yeah, outcome. Yeah, wow. nice, well done, that's great. Has it shown? What else have we got in the range, mate? Um, so here we've got our uh, this is our Verdi cutter. You can do some serious damage with this one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably one of our most popular machines we make, to be honest with you. Yeah, nice. Um, so for full, either grooming or full lawn renovation, um, with 100% grass collection as well. So, so catcher goes on the front, yep. stuff goes in, yep. next to um, no, next to yeah, behind Pretty it. much, you could mow straight after it's that kind of. Yeah, wow. And what size motor are you running on that? It looks fairly Yeah, this got a nine horsepower. Nine horsepower Honda. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Yep, so yeah, nice. GX270. Yep. Um, yeah, and then, then nice the, machine. And then they go up to the 390s and the 30 inch and the 36s. So, so you do a wider one still? Yep. Yeah, so this is 26 inch. Yep. Uh, next one's 30 inch, and yep. then we do 36, 36 inch. Wow. So that's very popular for uh, like grass tennis courts, croquet courts. We also uh, go down to 22. So you go down to like the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the more residential same, size. Like shape. this size. But same yeah, size right. as that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, nice. This one's actually a cricket pitch mower but with an inbuilt grooming reel. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. This was our prototype machine, which we've also had on trial on last season. Yep. Um, the worker had used this last season, so working really nice. They'll be available towards the middle of the year. Yeah, nice. More for fine turf though. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, then we got our little residential, so our R22 is a model of this one. Um, so is it, it, it's probably more suited to like the home more enthusiast? Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. Yep. Yeah, um, nice. This is our, our most popular machine we make this, R22, available in three different models. Yep. So R22, R22W, and R22G, so just for different types of turf and uh, you know how keen the homeowner is yep, yep. On, on looking after his turf. So if someone was to like look at buying something along these lines, this is probably a machine for life. This, Correct. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to buy this and then a homeowner. You know, yeah, exactly. So a homeowner is going to buy that mow master purely for that thing to never break down yep. and last an absolute lifetime. Yep. So this is one. This is the sort of the family heirloom that you pass That's down. It. Yep. Give it to the grandkids. Yep. Yep. And it's designed and built very close to our commercial machinery. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yep. So it's still, yep, and it's all, all made here. Yep, yep. yep. Make every part here, right? Yep. Yeah. Everything, yep, all the steel, everything, yep. all yep. done here on site. Cut, yep. press, bent, yeah, welded, nice. machine, yep. Yep. all the processes. That's really good. Yep. That's really good. That's pretty rare today, too. Very. Yeah. Yep. Like we manufacture, as we say, and pretty much everything we send out fly-wise, right, we design everything to suit the turf surface. Yeah, right. So yep. it's not one mower does all, certainly not. Yep. Like The machines are designed for you know, that golf course or that tennis court or yep. whatever the case may be. Yeah, nice, mm -hmm. nice. And I believe at the back is where the magic happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we should have a look at right, right, sweet. <clears throat> 
obviously here we're starting to build a reel. Yep. Yep. So yep. what's the process? The uh, process is basically we've got the shafts will come through and then we will set them up uh, with these little templates here which will set the spacings for the webs. Yep. Depending on the width and the amount of waves of the reels because we've built, I think, I don't know, I think we must have at least 14 different size reels and types of them. Yep. From six blade to ten blade, eight blades, and then their widths and everything. So yeah, many different processes. So the shafts are made. Uh, the webs are all cut in to suit all those different reels so and that, stuff. So that's these They're things? The webs, yep. Yep. Uh, and then... So these are the blades? Yep, these so are the you, blades. So you twist these on site? Yes. Yep. yep. That basically starts as a piece of platform. Yep. And then we put, uh, the, we put two processes through that, where they get, they get an arc put in them and then a spiral. Uh, and then they go to heat treatment, and then they become to this section now yeah, and nice. start fabricating. So yeah, yeah we put them in and we do two at a time. Yep. We work with opposites. Yep. Uh, and then the fabricators, as good as they are, they just start the process of welding them in. The lines are only small to hold the blades in because uh, it's quite too much welding in the drama as well. Yeah, right, yep. So once they're finished in this section, they go to another part over here under a press yep. to make sure they run through. Yep. And then after that, they get painted and on the grinder. Alright, let's go to the next stage. Cool, thank you. Yeah, so after what we just over there, as far as the plastic painting goes, the paint goes on and we have to go to that like this, the the whole thing just gets painted. Yep. Fairly lackluster as well, like we just paint the whole thing. Yep. Uh, and then after that, it comes up to here. Yeah, right, yep. And they, they, when they first go on the grinder, they're not round, obviously, because they're fabricated, yep. so it takes several parts to get them round, and then they finish up at a certain diameter, so our geometry will put them on. Yep. And then that's it. Yeah, nice. That makes more square and through. That's parallel. Well, it's parallel. It's parallel with the machine is set to the end. Yeah, right. Yeah. So, you know, like, you can grind paper if you want to, yeah. but then that makes it part of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they are. Everything that we do, we grind exactly parallel. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And then this is our, you know, our final product. Nice. Yeah, good thing to come out, too. Yeah. 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 These are for all the commercial like heavy duty stuff, yeah. and then with the different blades and that come into play for the finer turns, yep. uh, depending on where it's going. Nice. So this is where all the rollers are made? Yep. yep. This is uh, one of our fabrication works where we make all our two section rollers. Yep. Uh, they go from this point where they're fully welded uh, over to the lathe. Yep. The next step we'll show you that they get machined and we'll show you sure the process from there. Yeah, nice. Let's have a look. So this process here, we're just uh, giving the rollers a face cut to make sure they run all 100% parallel with each other. Uh, very important is uh, keeping a nice, clean, consistent cut. So that makes it quite perfect so they can marry up the other parts. Yep, so they couple up together at yep. the same diameter. Yep, and these ones, certain models will run a test in this, won't they? Yep, so this particular one is a ratchet drive, which yep. is found in our R22 residential model. Yep. Uh, the commercial models have all got differentials in them. Yep. Uh, which I can show you right yeah, here. Yeah, that's So that's, um, I've got to be honest, that's pretty spectacular. That's, that's poetry in motion, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's right. fairly heavy duty for the normal. And no one else Have is. So no one else is doing this. Not no. enough quality. Right. Well, we're still talking about a lawnmower. That's pretty impressive. Like, that's beyond impressive. Yeah. Right. Uh, hard. 1045. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it's heavy duty. There's a lot of weight in that too, isn't it? Like, that's, yeah. that's weighty, that's quality. Yeah. Commercially, wow. I think in, in the most operated sense, like the most hours I do, I mean, those things can last 20, 30 years. I can see why. Yeah, wow. You can see awesome. why our machines put, like, they're so heavy because of the components that we put in them. Yeah. They yeah. make them last and just give you that quality. I like it. Well done. That's really well done. Wow. Yeah. Once this machine's been assembled, we've got you know, engines assembled, we've got rollers installed, you've got the cylinder, the cutting cylinder in, so one of your jobs is, I guess, final adjustments, making everything right, so nothing leaves here not working as it should, yeah, basically. That's right, we check it all over to make sure yep. it's 100% complete. So it'll cut paper, leaving the factory, yeah, yeah. and... Um, It never gets old. It's it never gets old. Um, and you've got the two colour choices. You've got the green and you've got black for people who want black. Yep. Yeah, yep. right. Yep. And you actually export. So you said this one here is going to New yeah, Zealand. Yeah, this one's going to New Zealand. So yep. all around the world, you guys deliver. Yep. So it's not just Australia. It's 
to say a massive thank you to both Luke and Dave from MoMaster took time out of their day to show us around give us a tour of the factory and to show us some of the great work they're doing there unfortunately the closing scenes of this video um, have gone missing so I'm gonna leave it at that anyway guys look have a fantastic weekend I hope you've enjoyed the episode a little bit more from Perth coming up soon in the meantime have a fantastic weekend and we'll catch you next time on the Aussie Lawn